Hey there, Internet. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Now, the varying grotesqueries of social media, outside of their necessity for self-promotion, that is, is something that I very much try to avoid in my daily life. But it's this very subject, along with its effect on teenage socialisation, that we'll be exploring in today's subject, Ron's Gone Wrong. Released in 2021, Ron's Gone Wrong is the tale of a young boy and his internet disconnected robot friend. Barney Podowski is the only one in his class without a bebot, but the slightly duff one his guardians buy for him will land him in a world of trouble, if it doesn't kill him first. A notable fact about this movie was that it was mostly written by Peter Bainham, a British actor and screenwriter who co-wrote the first Hotel Transylvania movie and worked on the scripted portion of Sasha Baron Cohen's Borat. So come with me to the little town of Nonsuch, California, where there's a big adventure brewing. But fair warning, Ron's gone wrong. Meet Barney Podowski. He could use a friend. And his birthday isn't going too well. Poor Barney lost his mum at a very young age. But how did that happen? It's never addressed in the movie. <sighs> Another dead mother. What is it with Hollywood and dead mothers? But despite Papa Podowski's misgivings, Barney will have his bebot. But this one's... not the premium model. Papa Podowski missed the opening hours of the bubble store by mere seconds, and has to resort to a backstreet deal with a delivery driver for a slightly dinged model, which ironically only got dinged because Barney rode out in front of the truck the day before. Not to mention that the internet at Shea Podowski is apparently squirrely at best. And so, Barney looks to return this reject robot. Which means braving the prank squad. But this bebot is rebelliously belligerent towards bullies. Our little bot never downloaded its safety settings, child locks and training wheels. Meaning that it can, and will, do some very questionable things if Barney doesn't step in to stop it. And to think that these two used to be friends. Maybe one day, once old Richie's gotten over himself, they'll be friends again. <laughs> Probably not any time soon, though. But Rich snitched on our protagonist, and this plastic powerhouse is headed for the crusher. But one swift switch later, and Barney's bot is back in business. And this is where we get our bot's name. R-O-N-B-I-N-5-C-A-T-5-C-O Ron Binskatsko Or Ron for short. Personally, I'll stick with 2X4B523P, thank you very much. And so, our boys begin to bond. The old-fashioned way. But the prank squad won't be denied. Which leads to a very interesting break time. They manage to get hold of the unlocked code to remove the safety settings in all of the B-Bots, which is quickly patched out. However, out of this, Barney is expelled from school, and Bubblecore are on the warpath. Bubblecorp, started by the idealistic roboticist Mark Wydell and greedy Steve Jobs alike Andrew Morris. They created the Bubblebot to be the friend that Wydell never had growing up. Wydell wants to meet Ron to improve the experience, but Morris only wants to stop their share price from tanking, by any means necessary. And I am definitely sparing you the rant on that one. Our protagonists hide out in the woods, but it's hard going, and all it takes is one asthma attack to bring Barney back to civilization. Barney is hospitalised, but when he wakes up, Wydell has made his way to Nonsuch and connected Ron to the bubble network, turning him into just another bebot. Naturally, Barney wants his friend back, and that would be as simple as downloading the old Ron from Bubble's cloud storage, if Morris hadn't booted out Wydell and taken over as CEO of Bubble Corp. So it's off to Bubble Corp HQ to retrieve Ron, which is a lot more difficult than it sounds. But almost as soon as he's found, our protagonists see that everyone is lonely in their own way. 
Barney decides that all the world need a Ron of their very own. But Ron's code is unstable, and once uploaded, he unravels, never to be seen in his original form again. And so our movie ends three months later, when the pretenses of global connection have been traded for good old-fashioned in-person friends. Connection to the world restored. Anyway, that was Ron's Gone Wrong. But I can't put this one into my house of love. As a first watch, I found this to be hard going. To finally have the big new thing only for it to be broken and weird, and then nearly have it snatched away multiple times? I admit that my response would have been violence, especially at that age. But that isn't this story. Bainham and co-writer Sarah Smith have created a reflection to the pressures of social media on kids. But as with some other child protagonists, I recognised my own lack of agency and power at that age. Anyway, let's get to the performances. The leads, Jack Dylan Grazer and Zach Galifianakis, strike up a decent rapport and make a likeable outcast pair. The supporting cast are solid enough, but the story is very generic. Kid finds new friend, outside forces threaten friendship, mid-second act argument, rescue from the bowels of authority, heartfelt farewell. We've been here before. Which brings us to the message. This movie is inarguably about the horrors of social media and what it does to a teenage psyche. Something that I'm not really equipped to speak about, seeing that I was well into my 20s when even the earliest social media came to be. But even as I avoid drama, I can see what it does to people and how a single mishap or mistake can go viral and lead you to be poop girl or prank boy for the rest of your days. But I wouldn't say that friends online are any more or less real than in person. Cult of personality and oversharing are one thing. But as long as we remember the social in social media, maybe we won't need our very own bebot. In summary, I find it ironic that a movie about offline friends was created in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Still, it's well animated and it undoubtedly has heart. This isn't a bad film, it's just not for me. And that's okay. Well, never mind. I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you better days, peaceful social media, and better movies. So long, folks! Hey folks, Funky again. If you liked the video, you know where that button is. Or why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell? And if you want to be extra awesome, you can check out my crowdfunding links. Funding me grants access to the VIP channel in my Discord server, but there's still plenty of fun in general. And if you're not fussed about any of it, that's okay too. So long!